it's, it's very windy. Yet again, not my smartest choice in locations. Hello and welcome to another episode of News From The Van. The last News From The Van before lockdown. Don't know how long it will be before another one happens, but here we are for this one. Now I've noticed in the last few videos, I say certain words and phrases too often. So I've developed a fun interactive game called Sean's News From The Van Bingo. Shout bingo if you get one. <laughs> First piece of news, we have an update on the Simon Tabron situation. I'm pleased to say he is now at home with his family. He's doing outpatient therapy and therapy at home. His speech therapist has said how well he's progressing both in the sessions and between sessions. That's all the information that Simon and his family are putting out at the moment. We know he's got a very long road ahead of him, but I know he won't stop until he achieves his goal, just like everyone else knows. It's been a very bumpy few years for Rom Skate Park, and unfortunately, it looks like their struggles aren't over yet. On the day of the Rom Boys documentary premiere, the skate park was served with an eviction notice from their landlord. Supposedly, the landlord wants to turn the skate park that is grade two listed into a car park. He's planning on having the grade two listing overturned, so he's able to do this. Since sending in this eviction notice, the landlord has also sent a fake bailiff and locksmiths to smash open the doors, change the locks and lock the staff out from what we can see. To find out more on the Rom Skate Park situation, hit the link in the description of this video to head to the Rom Skate Park Facebook page. We've previously mentioned there's a new concrete skate park popping up in Horsforth. There is now a spot check up on the Ride UK site, so go check it out. Tick off your bingo list. I believe go check it out is on there. Also up on the Ride UK site is a bike check with radio bike shredder Henry Logan. Take a look at this Mancunian rider's latest setup. Over to sponsorship news now, Michael Larin is now riding for Mongoose Bikes. Mongoose have stated, Michael is an amazing human and one of the best to do it on a bike. We're proud to have him representing the brand and BMX in general. Welcome aboard, Michael. Ryan Biz Jordan is now riding for SM Bikes. There's a quite comedic welcome to video up on SM's YouTube channel. I definitely recommend giving it a watch. First place ride UK ride to glory. Let's get this guy the discount code. Parker Heath has put out a video with GT Bikes called The Art of Getting Hurt. In this video, he talks you through his list rank injury, how his recovery is going, and how he's keeping sane during the injury time. Rory McLean has put out a new video with BSD at Sorton Skate Park. The video was put together by Jacob Campbell, featuring lots of creative pegless wizardry that you'll struggle to get your head around. Per, per, per of Peru. Per of Peru. Per of Peru. Per of Peru. A crew from the Czech Republic have made a full length video this year called Per of Peru. Tom Havlick has said, we visited lots of local spots, skate parks and trails on our trips, drank lots of beer and most importantly, had as much fun as possible. The video is available to watch up on the Ride UK site. Curbside DIY have put out another video called Curbside 5. This is footage from another heavy session at the DIY spot in Bristol. Tall Order High Flyer Matt Harris has taken a crack at filming and editing with a video called Bambi Tapes. This video features Matt himself, Kaz Campbell, Jerobi Reed, Dave Gilchrist, and no footage of me because he lost all the clips. RBMX have started putting out the videos of the winners of Nora Cup. They've just put out the video for Nathan Williams winning Street Rider of the Year. On the topic of winning things, BSD have won the Source BMX Battle of the Brands. Coming in at second place is Fiend, third place Colt, and last but not least, Sabrosa. Good news for all you old schoolers out there, Redline Foundations has been launched. Redline Foundations will celebrate Redline's early history. There is an RL20 Pro Styler reissue frame, fork, and bar kit coming out. These are being made in California Red, Radberry and Hazard Yellow. 
There's 100 of each colour being made for sale in the US, Europe and Asia, with an additional 100 split equally between the colours to be made for New Zealand and Australia. Kink have brought out a cross-cut street frame. This frame features a 12.5 inch chainstay, 75.5 head tube angle. You can run up to a 2.55 tyre with a 28.2 sprocket. The frame also features 11.6 bottom bracket height. The frame is made from 100% 4130 chromoly and is weighing in at four pounds, 15 ounces. On the topic of frames, Mutiny bikes might be back in the not too distant future. Mutiny have said on their Instagram, we're going dark for a while. There are some sample frames in the works. I'll update more as and when the time is right. Rumor has it, these may be high-end USA made frames, but who knows, we'll just have to wait and find out. That's all the news from this episode. I'll see you again when we're next able to see you again. Thanks to lockdown. Stay safe. Hopefully see you soon. Peace out. If you like this video, or if you don't, leave us a comment and give us some feedback. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.